Hey guys, welcome back to Study Collab. Today we're going to be doing a video on digital organization. Basically, how to use your digital devices to organize yourself at school. So one of the places I like to organize all my schoolwork is on Google Drive. This is the website here, you can check it out. And so here I've just created a schoolwork folder. And this is where I would put all of my schoolwork that is digital. So first I would start by making folders for every single subject that I have. Uh, you just click on new and then folder and type in the name. Usually I would do it of the subject. You can see now I have all of the folders for my individual subjects. And now I'm going to go into biology and create a folder for every single term in the school year. So in my school year I have four terms, so I'll create a folder for each term that I have at school. So now that I have all of my Term 1, Term 2, Term 3, Term 4 folders, I'm going to go into Term 1 and create a Google document. Uh, this will perhaps be me taking notes in class. So I'm just going to call this Class Activity 1, and now you can see me making my notes. So now I'm going to show you how I would do my organization for literature. So this is a little bit different. I found that we were studying books over different terms. So I decided to create folders for each individual book, play, or any kind of literature that we were studying. I found it a lot easier to organize all of my material. Now we'll be moving on to some more digital organization. This is Google Calendar. There's a website there if you want to check it out. Now I'm just going to double click in a section of the calendar and then when the window pops up I'm going to click on more options and in here I might add the title, let's just say it's a meeting and then I'm going to alter the times to when it's actually occurring. And then after that you can also make it an all day event or a weekly event but for this case it's just going to be a one off event. Then you can also add location, for me I just added school. And there's a bunch of other things such as notifications and also color. So for this one I chose Flamingo. There's also a section to add a description of the event. Uh, in this case I just put meeting with teacher one. And as you can see, there is the meeting that we just created. Now you can also transfer your digital organization onto devices such as an iPad or an iPhone or any other device that you may have. Here I have my Google Calendar. This is an example of my very own calendar and all of the different events that I would have throughout the month of November. The next app that I have on my iPad is my Google Drive and here we can see the schoolwork folders that we just made on my computer and here we have our biology, our term one and then of course our little Google document that we made. I would also recommend downloading the Google Documents app, I will have the link in the description below. It's really great if you want to do some editing on the go, uh, especially if you're trying to study on a plane or you're traveling etc. And as you can see, I also have a folder on my iPad called School, and this just has all the apps that I use for school. So the first app that I have is my calculator, just if I want to calculate anything for maths. And then I also have Quizlet. I find this really useful when I'm studying Chinese especially. I love to go through the cards right before an exam just to refresh my memory. But if I'm studying hardcore uh, before an exam, I would probably use Write. It just... Uh, a much better way to test myself. So before I mention the Google Docs app, but I would also recommend you get the Google Slides and Google Sheets app. I'll have the link in the description below. So 
So we hope that these tips have helped you become a little bit more digitally organized at school. Uh, we also want to thank you so much for helping us hit 10,000 subscribers. It's absolutely crazy. We love your support. And we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Thanks so much, guys. See you next time.